All right, let's get back to the broader markets. Joining us right now to talk about that is Ryan Payne. He's president of Payne Capital Management. And Ryan, it's good to see you. Hey, good morning, Becky. How you doing? Good, good. I want to talk about your call because you are kind of stepping out with a pretty bold call. A lot of people have looked at how far the markets have run and said, oh, hold up, time to take a little bit of a pause. Let's take a breather. Let's see what's happening. You're looking at uh, 33 of 50 states seeing higher coronavirus numbers. But you say right now is the time to buy and that investors will regret it if they don't do that. Don't wait for a dip. Yeah, and I, call, and I called back for the record uh, early April on this network that we're going to see a V-shaped recovery, which most economists, most strategists were pretty, pretty negative. Um, and I think the mistake you're going to make right now is think, okay, the market's had a huge run up. I'm going to wait for the dips, but you're seeing we're not getting many dips here. And I think the reason for that is there's just so much money in cash right now, Becky. I mean, literally, if you look at the five trillion or so that's sitting in cash. So many money managers got out of the market. Hedge fund managers are sitting in cash right now. Retail investors, and I just know anecdotally, uh, as well as our firm, uh, a lot of them are sitting in cash, afraid to get back in the market. And I just remember from 08, 09, when you have this kind of government stimulus, the news is this bad, and you have this much money sitting in cash, it's just rocket fuel to push markets higher. Back in 08, 09, and then in the years after that, you did see some pretty steep drops along the way as investors got spooked. You, you, you think we're going to ride that out more because we now understand what happens when the Fed gets involved and when the federal government spends an incredible amount of stimulus? I don't think investors ever learn their lesson. And I think that's what you're seeing here, too, is just, I mean, if you look at how off the economists have been this whole time, I mean, I think at one point, GDP was calling for like a 50% decline in the second quarter. And I think it's going to be a bad quarter for GDP, but it's not going to be that bad. Um, and you saw that jobs number come in in May, which is so much better than anyone expected. We talked about retail sales last week. Uh, they were double what was expected. And I think you're just going to see more of the same. You're going to see strategists, economists, you know, looking at the dire news. And we keep talking about the second wave of the coronavirus. But I don't know about you, but I've been hearing about that second wave now f since March. You know, so I think a lot of that bad news is already priced in. So I think what your biggest risk here is surprises in the positive. Um, and I think that's what we've seen all along here. And if you're sitting in cash right now and you're waiting, we got a little bit of a dip this week. The cavalry keeps coming in and buying because there's just so much pressure to buy here.